get a yeah. snuggle in this, so. <laughs> get close. Right here, yeah. I have time for my weekly shower yet. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, today we're back with the guys from It's Always Sunny in Tijuana, Tyler, Jared. They wanted to try the Suntory Whiskey Toki. Let's pop the goddamn cork. I'm excited for this one. Oh, it hasn't even opened yet. No. Fresh. Fresh crack. That's a screw top. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> These whiskey make it easy. Yeah. It's a little traditional Japanese wrap with it too. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a little thing that they used to uh, put their hair buns in. Kind of <laughs> a little side. <laughs> so if you need that. Come on, more gum. <laughs> yeah, also. Yeah. Well, like some sort of That's what I was thinking, yeah, it's a sumo. <laughs> it's got many uses. They're very handy there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it does smell good. It actually smells kind of smooth. Mm -hmm. But not like a, it's not super oaky like American whiskey. It smells, smells like wine. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to dive in. It smells yeah. good. Cheers, Joe. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that is smooth. Yeah. That was really smooth. Yeah, I give it that. Got a little heat on the end, though. A little bit. Yeah, but not bad. <laughs> Big three Legos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fruity, even. I don't mind it. Mm, just like the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> Isn't there a song like that? Tasting like Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. Yeah, there, there it is. There. <laughs> See if I. I don't know who did that song. It's an '80s song, but no. <laughs> some, some English guy. I'm sure he's like, I, dude. I, I just, I just banged a Japanese chick, and I, I gotta tell you, I think I'm, I think I'm turning Japanese. <laughs> I got your picture. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That song stinks. Yeah, this, is, this isn't something that I would really, really like go to on the regular. It's not that I don't it like it, it's just it's a very, I, I don't know, maybe it's an acquired taste, maybe it's something I'm not used to yet. Dude, it, it tastes foreign. It for sure tastes foreign. <laughs> like it's not, it's definitely, it's familiar but not familiar. I don't know what that is. I don't, do they age it in American oak? Is that really the only thing that, that makes it whiskey? That, well, I I think like it has, in order for it to be whiskey, it has to be American oak, right? Uh, no? American oak for bourbon. For American bourbon. White oak. Yeah. They just play fast and loose with the details. <laughs> when it comes to Japanese whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey is just basically whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. It's good. Yeah. It's just uh It is good. It's a different kind of whiskey. It's very wine esque. Kind of, yeah. yeah, I agree. It does. It does taste very wine. Wine esque. Pinky I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would be uh, your regular kind of whiskey that you would drink on the daily then, bro? Yeah, for well, so for for me, I do I do like the Buffalo Trace. I've been on the Buffalo Trace for for a while. I do I do dig the Buffalo Trace. It's like a good a good go to. It's good juice. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I was say some of the other ones that are up here too. Weller's not bad. I, I do like the Weller, and, and I didn't really see it, but one that I actually started drinking pretty recently is that Blue Note. Oh, Blue Note. Yeah, dude, that's really really good. Oh, yeah, man. I like that. That's like a straight. Straight, real, real nice. It's got a, it's got a good taste to it. It's not too, too harsh, real smooth. Yeah, yeah I dig it. To that one. Yeah. I what about like you, that. Jared? Uh, no, I, the basics like Jack, really. You but I Jack and Coke. My Jack and yeah. Coke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tried that new Jack Bonded. No. Oh, oh dude. that shit's actually good compared yes. to Jack Daniels. Oh, really? so we're not, we're not massive Jack fans. I mean, you know, it's, it's good bourbon. Oh yeah. Uh, but. Uh, the, the Jack Daniels Bonded that just came out recently, it's a limited release, it won't be around forever, so it's about 35 bucks a bottle, okay. but it is just like... Is it is better than the Gentleman Jack? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, yeah. So the only, the only other Jack that I've tried that's better than it is the Sinatra. Okay. Oh, Sinatra is phenomenal. What's it called, Bonded? It's called Bonded, yeah, which okay. means it's bottled in Bond. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's sort of apply certain certain. See, all we have left is a triple mash. We haven't any of the bonded left. No, we do not. Oh, we, we get drink it, drink it. All. <laughs> Every time we get a bottle, we can't help it, man. Oh, it's man, just, I'm going to a bottle. It's just a banana bomb, dude. It's, Ooh, it's yeah, banana, it's butter. Oh, sh damn. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out for sure. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> Sounds good. I, just, I do like this. Yeah, that's not bad. I just, it's very smooth, easy to drink. If I'm in a pinch, I will say I definitely Jack Daniels. I, I definitely will. Yeah, I've had I, quite quite a quite a few. It doesn't taste like shit. <laughs> no. I mean, if this was offered to me, I wouldn't let it. I wouldn't turn it down. No, I'd say like again, it's just a you got to got to be ready. It's not a bourbon. It's a Japanese whiskey. It's made very differently. So you know, it's it's good. I would I would drink it. Again. It's better than scotch. That's for it's, sure. <laughs> well, I think it's actually classes. <laughs> that's what he likes to drink. Scotch. Yeah, well, the single malt stuff is disgusting. Is that what you like, single malt? I do like a single malt scotch, yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. If single malt didn't have single malt in it, this is what it would taste like. <laughs> Johnny Fish, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, Edge McCain. You guys have been busy lately? Writing new stuff? Yep. In the studio? Yep. 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 We, uh, got them tracking. Yeah, ready to rock and roll. But so, like, we're going to be releasing an EP uh, come January. That's kind of where we're expecting to, to get everything released. But, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, the, this entire process has been crazy. So we were going to put out something during COVID, and then that sort of got, got pushed back and stuff. And I think where our plan was is, yeah, we wanted to release something during that period of time. And, and then uh, everything kind of just, you know, kind of just got put on hold. So now we're, we at that time, we were going to release some, uh, like, re-record some old stuff. And now we, we just kind of went straight to the drawing board and wrote new music and stuff like yeah, that. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So the same direction as the as the old stuff, or are you guys uh, branching out a little bit? Branching out a little yeah, bit. Uh, I think so. I'm not awesome. saying we're not losing our edge or anything, but no. it's I want maybe more melody. I think uh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, you guys are really kind of known for deathcoreish kind yeah, of exactly. style. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you uh, added some gen kind of uh, infusion lately. So mm -hmm. I mean, is that that's all there? Add some melody. I mean, that's that sounds interesting. So yeah, yeah, Mister. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm excited for one of the new songs to come out. I'm too. It's definitely different from what we've done before. Yeah. But like, still fucking bang. Still. That's awesome. So, yeah. It's, can't wait to hear it. It's still deathcore. It's still there. Like I. Yeah. It's, it, you, you, yeah. Classifies under the banner of deathcore, but it's got a little bit more melody in there too. So uh, what about shows, dude? You got you guys got any gigs coming up that uh, people should know about? Let's get a, let's get some info. October eighth, we're uh, playing at Moe's with uh, Venom and Valor, Skin Dancer. Uh, <laughs> is it within the? I'm trying to think. They're, I think they added somebody else. They, yeah. It was ju they just added. So. Yeah. Uh, and then October 22nd, we're playing uh, the Buddha Poodle. Uh, they're having their thank you fest. There's gonna be tons of bands, and uh, it's gonna be freaking awesome. The Barrel Pot, Fox Lake, Us, <coughs> Moons, a Queen of the Stone Age cover band. Yeah. What is it? Uh, oh gosh, what is it? Death oh, is that Max? Dead Life Boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dead Life Boat. Awesome. Yeah, Max is awesome. Speaking of gigs, man, just what are some of your more memorable ones with the band that, uh, that you know highlights for you guys? Uh, man, we played with a lot of great national acts. Uh, I think when we played with uh, Currents and uh, uh, Enterprise Earth. Yeah, that was a, that was a good show. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was, that was a, a good show. That was a show on a Wednesday night at the Marquee, and it was sold out. Oh, was, oh man, it was a great night. So that was one of my favorites. Uh, and then, like, local shows-wise, when we played uh, with um, Nuns with Shutter. Yeah, at the Gothic. Uh, at the Gothic. That what was a, a great turnout for a we local show. that place, man. But I've the Gothic, heard yes. That, you know, That's a fun, that They don't really do local, local gigs there anymore. Any drunken memories that you want to talk about from being out and about? Not drunk. You think they're going to remember? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> or want to talk about? I'm trying to think of, like, a good... Like a good gig where we were, we were like nice and nice and toasty. Oof. There's been a few for for me for sure. But yes. There's been well, not a gig of ours, but we were in the yeah. gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a little. Yeah. <laughs> he was pretty trash. <laughs> we were drinking at his place. Yeah. Doing, oh, before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was doing, doing car bombs. Yeah, we were doing car bombs. We were doing car bombs. You know, getting ready for our friend's show. So we went to the Roxy, and then. Uh, you know, we saw my old band play, was uh, Roof Not Us. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I remember I was getting a drink at the bar, and Tyler came up to me, and he was like, 
hey, can you give me a ride home? I was like, yeah, for sure. And he's like, like right now. <laughs> and he was, I basically had to like pack him up into the back seat. He was just trashed. Oh my. And then I was like, pulled up to his apartment. And I was like, all right. And he got out and I saw him like kind of crash on the truck. And I was like, <laughs> I had to take him on up. your own, man. I had to take him up to the apartment, uh, open the door. Did he? Yeah, getting me up to the apartment though, like you, I, I remember distinctly, so it's a really, it was like a super narrow hallway. And so I'm like bouncing off the walls as I'm like trying to make it to my apartment. Yes. He's got his hand, like a death grip on my shoulder, <laughs> trying to kind of direct me. And it, yeah, gets open the door. I don't know, did I open the door or you? I did. Okay, yeah, that's exactly it. I, I was like, you in. yeah, Shut exactly. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, I'm in my house now. So I think, I think we're good. You pulled off a gig during all this? Did you didn't tuck him in? I didn't. No, uh, <laughs> I didn't. I think it was, that was home Sorry. base. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure <laughs> you I just I hit the in. floor. I don't <laughs> give a shit. We're ready to finish our last sip. So Sounds good. Wrap it up for the day. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, behind. Kind of. <laughs> it was too good. We jumped the gun. We did. <laughs> I'll take the last one, man. Everyone, go check out It's Always Sunny in Tijuana on all social media platforms. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks, man. Hope you enjoyed your whiz. Oh, yeah, yeah it's delicious. delicious. We'll be out to check out one of those shows soon. Awesome. Right Absolutely. on. Have a good show. Thanks. Soyanora. So. Oh, so get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's only sunny in Tijuana, but it's a bumpy show. <laughs> <laughs>